Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's video, we're taking a look at a handful of my favorite tips and tricks to help speed up layout and drawing production in AutoCAD. These questions come up a ton, and I wanted to kind of compile a bunch of tips and tricks into a super quick and short video for you all. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with videos and new content, as well as sign up for my free newsletter, which goes out weekly delivering tips, tricks, and more in the CAD and engineering industry directly to your inbox that link is in the description let's jump right into today's video All right, so starting off, we've got a basic floor plan here in our model space. We always want to be drawing in model space at one to one scale, and we adjust everything like scale wise and view wise in our layouts. And today's video, we're going to be showing you how to create your layouts quickly and accurately and in a repeatable manner. I'm going to share a few just tricks to speed up this whole process for you. So you can see I've clicked on the layout tab here, and you've gone to the default blank layout layout that AutoCAD has when you create a new drawing. Now, one of the first tips I'll give is typically you should be setting up a .dwt template file. I cover that in my course, AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows. You can check that one out up above and down below as well. It's going to teach you how to create your own template to get started so you have a starting base point for all of your new drawings. But one other way and a quick way to bring layouts that already exist into your drawing, saving you a ton of time, is to use the Design Center in AutoCAD. You can open this up by holding control and hitting the number two in the numpad. And you'll see here, when I hit it, control and two, Design Center opens up. Now, if you click over to the Open Drawings tab, this allows you to copy the layouts from another drawing directly into your current drawing. So if you're doing projects that use a similar layout or you're using a typical title block, this is the quickest way to copy those layouts from one drawing into your current and new drawing. So you can simply open up one of the old drawings you wanna copy from and then go to the new drawing you've got and open Design Center. Again, that's Control N2 or type in ADC and hit Enter. Now click the Open drawings tab and this is going to show you the drawings you have open you can now simply copy things from other drawings into your current drawing so our current drawing is called example and we're going to go to the drawing one here which is a blank drawing that has the template and layout i'd like and we're going to go to the layout selection here and you can choose which layout or all of the layouts and right click and bring them into your current drawing. Now this is gonna bring stuff into this drawing that I'm focused on, which is the current one, the example drawing. Uh, if you'd like to bring this into another drawing, just make sure it's the one that you've got highlighted or selected on the top tabs. Now again, we're right clicking on the 11 by 17 landscape layout and choosing add layout. You can see it's instantly brought in down here and you can see I now have a title block and layout and viewport all automatically copied in from an old or existing drawing. So if you've already done these, this is the quickest way to save you time and automate that process. Simply add these layouts in to your current drawing. Now from here, you can simply double click and create uh, the view you want to see of your drawing. So I've double clicked within the viewport. I'm gonna type in Z and then E to zoom extents. And I want to show this portion of the floor plan here. Now to select or choose a scale, simply select the viewport and you can use this little fly out drop down here and all of these scales that are in your drawing by default are gonna be shown. Here you can select the scale you'd like to show the specific area of your drawing or model space. In our case, we're probably gonna to wanna to be around a 1 16th or 1 8th, so we'll kind of go in between and choose 3 30 seconds for our scale. You can see that's not too bad. Maybe we want to scale it up a little bit more. We can go to 1 8th. That's pretty good, and it kind of fills up this area here nicely. Once you're happy with the scale that you've chosen, you can simply click on the word model here to switch back to paper space, or double clicking in a viewport will activate it and double clicking outside of a viewport will deactivate it. This means that now when I'm moving around, I'm not moving my view, I'm simply moving the entire sheet. Now to lock a viewport, you can select your 
uh, view here and choose the little lock symbol and that is going to lock it in place when I've activated it and tried to move it around. Now, another great tip when creating layouts quicker and easier is that you can copy and paste viewports just like any other object, and it's going to keep all of those same settings and the view and scale locked in. So I'm simply going to type in C uh, O for copy and hit enter. And I'm going to choose this viewport, hit enter, move it to the right, and you can see I've got an exact copy. So I can, what I can do here is shrink up the original one and then adjust the size of the new one. And what this is doing is creating a secondary viewport or second view of the objects in our model space, allowing us to show this at a different scale or a different area of the plan. So say I want to zoom in on these closets, maybe you want to detail those out or add some notes and dimensions. Unlocking it, I'm gonna select my viewport and choose a different scale. We're gonna zoom in. So maybe we've got a quarter inch or maybe we wanna go even further in, half inch. So you can see now we've got a zoom in of the exact same objects, but shown at different scales. This side here is at half inch and you can double click inside to see what scale it's at. And if you select this one, you can see what scale it's at. That's eighth inch. Now from here, you've got the option to kind of stick with what you've got, or you can get a little bit more advanced when it comes to how things are looking and how you can automate different parts of your layouts. Now, since we're talking about things that are gonna speed up the process, I'm gonna show you a few quick tricks when it comes to fields. I've talked about these before in dedicated videos, but I kind of wanted to lump everything into one layouts tips and tricks video for you. Before we jump into the next one, I did want to share that my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course is available up above at the link and down below in the description. Both are discounted for viewers such as yourself, and I highly recommend checking them out if you're learning AutoCAD and you want to learn some of the quickest and best workflows and fundamentals along the way. Everything from creating templates from scratch to working with sheet sets, creating XREFs, referencing them into your drawings, creating finished products, and packaging and shipping out and sending away your files to make sure everything works right. Everything from start to finish is touched on in this easy to learn and beginner course, and I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it. All right, so now back to our layouts. Uh, another quick trick is that you can actually clip a viewport to pretty much any shape, size, and object. So you can see here, I've created a circle, and if I want to clip my viewport, I simply click the clip button here, choose a viewport, and then choose an object to clip it to. And this allows you to get creative with how you're showing little blowouts and details of your drawings, allowing you to do a little circle or rectangle or funny shaped a uh, detail view of a specific part of your project or drawing. Maybe you want to detail out a window or a closet. This is a great way to create these unique looking viewports in just a few seconds. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to automate a couple things within our drawing. The first is our drawing title. And this is something you can add to your template or title block so that this does this automatically every time you use it in a new drawing. So we've selected our title text we're going to right click and choose insert field or control F. And we're going to go to the other category here up top and choose system variable. From here, we're going to type in C T to go to the C tab. Now this is going to pull the text from whatever the tab name is labeled. And you've got the option to format it, whether you want it all uppercase, lowercase, capital, the first word or title case. Uh, typically I go with uppercase for titles and drawing names, and we're gonna hit OK. So you can see that this is now populated and automatically updated based on the layout tab name. So if we call this floor plan by double clicking in there or right clicking on the tab and choosing rename, you hit enter to finish that. And now typing regen to regenerate the drawing or saving your drawing is gonna update all of these fields within it. You can see that it's automatically updated and that's just another way to speed up layout production because if you add these to your title blocks and layouts every time you copy them into a new drawing they're automatically going to populate the text from these fields now i'm going to share another quick trick when it comes to these fields is that 
you can add these to any piece of text in your drawing and you can pull more unique properties. So I've chosen the scale property here. I'm going to insert a field by right clicking in the value. And under this drop down here, I'm going to now choose objects. Now it's going to let me choose an object. So if you click object here, click this little arrow here, it's gonna allow me to move around my drawing and select an object. I'm gonna choose the viewport to the left here. This is my main viewport, which I would like to display its scale in this piece of text. Now you're gonna get the properties of this object and you can choose any of these properties. You could pull colors, you could pull sizes, line types, weights, uh, block counts. You can pull all these things from the fields. In our case, we're gonna be pulling the standard scale text and you can see it's populated up here what this is going to look like. You can change again how it's formatted, but we're just going to hit okay to pull that and put that into our drawing scale field. And now it's automatically going to update every time we change the scale of this viewport. This is a great way to avoid any potential confusion or issues when moving through projects. If you automate as much of this stuff as possible, you eliminate a lot of useless and unnecessary errors that could arise as things change and progress along the way. Now, another great way to speed up your drawing and layout production is to have a block library or text library or what some would call a swipe file. Now, this would be a separate DWG drawing that you use to store all of your typical blocks or typical legends or typical text that you like to use. This works well for general or typical notes, copyright text, uh, standard blocks that you use all the time, but you don't want these saved in your template so that they show up in every drawing. Uh, having this swipe or block library allows you to bring these into your drawings when needed and in the case of layouts having a typical legend or typical uh, text file with all of your general notes is a great time saver now you can see i've got a example text file here now i've got inserted around zero zero a chunk of text this is just uh default lorem ipsum gibberish but this is a great way to store and keep a handful of different general notes, typical notes that you use in your drawings and bring them into your layout. Now you can simply insert a drawing into any other drawing in AutoCAD. Now you can do this through Xrefs, but the quickest way for this case is to use I for insert and simply browse to where you've got that drawing saved. So this button in the top right here is gonna allow you to browse to a file. I'm gonna choose my typical uh, notes or text. It's going to come in and it's gonna ask me for an insertion point. So I can place this anywhere. And now you've got a block with all of these text pieces that can be updated easily and brought into your drawing. Now, if you'd like to scale it, edit it, any of that, you can. It's got all of the same properties as a uh, typical block. But if you'd like to edit it and turn it back into text, all you need to do is type in burst and hit enter. And now you've got a typical piece of text that is now just in your drawing. You didn't have to create this. You didn't have to edit anything. It comes in in the right size, the right style, the right scale. Everything you've pre-set up in your text swipe file is now inside your current drawing layout. So I hope that helps. You can also use this same strategy to bring things in like scale bars, north arrows, and more. I hope you guys learned a ton from today's video. And if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments and let me know what you'd like to see in an upcoming video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Bye.